Now we'll take a look at solving several exponential equations using the properties of exponents. So looking at our first example, we have 2 raised to the power of x equals 64. If we could write the right side of the equation as 2 raised to some power, we could then solve for x. In general, if we have a raised to the power of m equals a raised to the power of n, then m is equal to n, meaning if the bases are the same and they're equal to each other, the exponents must also be equal. So if we can write 64 as 2 raised to some power, we can solve this equation without using logarithms. And if we have a hard time determining if we can write 64 as 2 raised to some power, it's often helpful to look at the prime factorization. So let's go ahead and do that. 64 is equal to 8 times 8, and 8 is equal to 4 times 2, Well, 2 is prime, and of course 4 is equal to 2 times 2. Notice how 64 contains 6 factors of 2, which means we can rewrite this equation as 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of 6. And since our bases are the same and these are equal to each other, x must equal 6, which is our solution. Looking at our second example, even though this is in fraction form, let's see if we can write 81 as 3 raised to some power. Again, just in case we need to, we can write out the prime factorization. 81 is equal to 9 times 9, and of course 9 is equal to 3 times 3. So 81 is equal to 3 to the fourth, so we could write this as 3 to the power of x equals 1 over 3 to the power of 4. And now we can use our properties of exponents and move this up into the numerator. Remember, if we do this, it's going to change the sign of the exponent. So we can now write this as 3 to the power of x equals 3 to the power of negative 4. And again, now that the bases are the same, the exponents must be equal. So x is equal to negative 4, which is our solution. We will be looking at several more examples, and you can watch them in sequence by clicking on the link in the upper left-hand corner. I hope you found this helpful.